Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for y'all today. Today's topic is going to be a three month love prediction. So if you are watching this around the time that it was uploaded, this is going to be for the months of June, July, and August 2019. Or if you are watching this at any other point in time, just this is just going to be for the next three months. This is going to be a timeless reading. So whenever you feel led to, to, to watch this, then that's fine. Um, I've got four piles of cards to choose from, and I just realized that I forgot to put things on top of the piles to help you pick. So I am going to look around here and see what objects I want to use. Okay, for pile one, we're going to have the Buddha statue. Pile two is going to be Anubis. Good old dad. Um, for group number three, <laughs> we're going to have the my Darth Vader Funko Pop. Okay. Any Star Wars fans watch me? I love Star Wars. Um, anyway, and for pile four, we're gonna have this pocket knife sort of thing. It's rainbow and it has a dragon engraved on the side of it. Pretty nifty if you ask me. So those are our four options to choose from. Okay, Buddha, Anubis, Vader, pocket knife. <laughs> All right, so I will give you guys a moment to choose your pile, and while you're doing that, I just want to say thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subs. I hit 10k a couple days ago, and I'm already like well beyond that but at the time that I'm recording this, so it's really been wild to me how quickly my channel has grown and is continuing to grow. It's just been like, it's it's been steady, you know, since the beginning, um, which is really wild to me. <laughs> um, but I just gotta say, I can't, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys, all of the support that you have given me, and all of the love, and all of the nice comments. I do predominantly get super sweet comments, and I appreciate that. Um, also, I gotta say that um, on my Patreon, I do have some exclusive readings up there now, so um, check that out if you're interested. I'm probably gonna have one more up there before the end of this week. Um, so, yeah, take a look at that if you're interested in Patreon. And, um, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started, guys. So, let me figure out where I'm gonna put these in the meantime. I make weird noises a lot. Okay, so pile one. What is your three month love prediction? First card we have is look for a sign. We also have meditate and contemplate. So both of these cards right away, I just want to say, are kind of similar. Um, both of these have sort of a spiritual element to them. Look for a sign. It's kind of like looking for signs from spirit, from the universe, and then with meditate and contemplate, it's got kind of a similar theme. Um, it's, it's like, you know, there's something some some information some message that spirit wants you to know and so they're advising you to kind of um you know be paying attention um so that's kind of interesting so let's see what else we have here we also have let me put these like this and we also have the tower sudden major changes we have justice fairness, balance, etc. And we have the four of coins, which can talk about financial success, but it also can talk about um, holding on to something. 
and our two romance angel cards are trust and let your friends help you so let's see give me one moment please We've got justice right here in the center of this little spread. And also I want to point out that the trust card, the situation is calling for you to have faith. This card comes up a lot when there's some sort of divine guidance at work in a situation. And given that we've got these two cards up here that are kind of talking about a similar thing, kind of talking about like, um, guidance from from spirit it's like there's some something about your love life is kind of being divinely guided um i get the sense that okay i get the sense that some of you guys have been possibly dealing with somebody that has not really been giving you much maybe you've just been getting crumbs from this person for a while and or you're in like separation from somebody or you have little contact with your person of interest um and i think you've been kind of trying to just trust and have faith that if this is something that's meant to be then it's meant to be i feel like you've been trying to hold on to it you know kind of reluctant to fully let it go um and i think that what these cards are saying is that like within the next three months there's going to be some kind of big change happening within this connection okay um and i feel like it's going to be pretty sudden pretty unexpected and it's going to be something that's going to really balance this thing out and and i feel like this is going to become stabilized this relationship with this person because i kind of get the sense that it's been a little bit up and down in and out hot and cold and um You've been kind of sick of it, but you've been just, you know, trying to just have faith that if it's, if this person is meant to be in your life, then it'll work out. And I feel like it's going to work out <laughs> in the next few months. We also have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So... I mean, the first thing that comes to mind when I look at this card, it's not so much letting your friends help you, but it's more like asking spirit for help or God or I don't know, whatever you like to call that, um, your guides, whatever. And I keep hearing the word prayer. Um, some people like to pray, some people don't. You don't have to be like a religious person to pray in my opinion prayer is just kind of it's kind of a cathartic sort of thing it's prayer to me is just communication with my spirit guides and um it's something that is usually quite comforting to me um so i feel like if this is a situation that has you kind of all you know like oh gosh what's what 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 am i trying to say what am i trying to say if this is a situation that you're stressed about and that could be something that will help you just you know kind of surrendering it and saying to spirit or your guides or whatever like i know that you have this under control and what's meant to be will be and you're gonna do what's for my highest good and i'm just gonna trust that okay um, that's kind of what that card is telling me. I also want to pull out a couple clarifiers, though, and see if there's anything else that they have to say about this card. We have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment, so it's, again, kind of, kind of just that, that element or that theme of, of trust. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, um, okay, we have... We also have the Father of Pentacles, so this is the King of Pentacles, this is balance, or, sorry, stability, security, uh, maturity, um, 
kind of a similar message to the justice card. It's like this situation or this connection being stabilized. Um, I think basically the gist of this message for you guys is just you've been dealing with somebody who has really kind of gotten you stressed out and I think within the next three months this connection with this person is going to be sorted out. I I feel like this is all just kind of there's going to be some some kind of change here that's going to result in this fulfillment of this wish, this desire that you have to, you know, be with this person or have this, have a more meaningful relationship with this person or whatever it is that you're looking for. Um, so that's really <laughs> what I've got for you guys, pile one. Um, this is a pretty straightforward reading and I think I'm going to leave it at that. I know that was kind of quick, but I don't think there's really much else to talk about. So, um, pile one, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this resonated with you. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, guys. Now it is time for group number two. All right, so group two. Let me move the Buddha out of the way. Okay, group two. Let's see what the next three months has in store for you guys. We have the Abundance card. That is lovely. We have It's Time to Release Negativity. We have Page of Coins, The Chariot, The Six of Swords, and Make the Effort and Codependency. Okay, so... All right, pile two, what I'm getting for you guys is, I mean, first of all, with the abundance card being here, it's like, how how bad could the next three months possibly be? Um, I feel like overall, you guys are going to have a pretty decent time in terms of, you know, your, your love life and your options as far as that goes. Um... I think, though, that some of you could have some hang-ups or some blockages going on. There could be some people that you've been dealing with that have been not maybe not really cooperative. Maybe they've been kind of leading you on, or maybe they have uh, ghosted you or just been sort of acting kind of weird towards you. And if that's the case, this card is telling you to just kind of let that go. I'm kind of getting from this card release negativity, but also it's time to release some of your expectations, and really what that means is to just kind of surrender control over these situations that you're involved in. It's like, um, you know, for example, you meet somebody and you're into them and you feel like they're into you, and so sometimes we have this tendency to just sort of get into, get real deep into these, like, um, daydreams about what's going to happen, what's, what's going to happen as far as this relationship is concerned, um, what's our future going to be like together, are we going to get married, are we going to have kids, are we going to live together, it's, where are we going to live, where are we going to move to, etc., and we get really caught up in the fantasy of, like, the possibilities with this person. But the thing is, most of the time, inevitably, this person is going to let us down somehow. And most of the time, the things that we are hoping for in a relationship are not always going to work out the way we want or how we want them to. And so when that happens, we tend to get kind of down and anxious and stressed because it is looking like, you know, things aren't going the way that we had planned. And so that is why, I hope that makes sense, that is why it's important to kind of go into these things with no expectations. It's like, hope for the best, but expect the worst. But anyway, back to the point that I was trying to make 
I feel like some of you guys have gotten really caught up in what you were expecting, like your expectations regarding a certain person or a certain relationship, and this turned out, you know, not the way that you planned or hoped, and you've been kind of, mm, you know, disappointed in that. And I think that's kind of where this codependency vibe is coming from. Um, it's also possible that, yeah, 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 I feel like it's kind of a, for some of you, it's like the person you're thinking about or the person you've been dealing with has been kind of like an addiction for you. I, I get this, I get this sense that you've been thinking about them constantly and worried about this connection a lot and like it's always on your mind it's always on your heart and it's just been a real source of grief for you and i think that is something that again this is something that you really need to let go of and i feel like if you can do that that's when this abundance is going to start manifesting for you okay um, we've got the chariot here as well. This card is about movement forward. It's about action. It's like, if you can release <laughs> the, these things, if you can release like the negativity, the expectations, um, acknowledge where your plans or expectations might not be the most realistic, let that stuff go, and that's when I think this connection is going to start moving forward. You're going to be able to manifest that progress that you're that you were hoping to see um we also have the page of coins so this card talks about communication um an offer of some degree of commitment okay so that's kind of exciting we also have the six of swords this card usually indicates um reconciliation coming together so any conflicts that may have been present between you and another person I feel like are going to be resolved if you've not been in much contact with the person you're interested in I feel like that's going to change um just basically reconciliation reunion and I feel like there's going to be like I said some forward progress between you and this person people being willing and able to make the effort finally <laughs> I feel like this has been a long time coming um but I think that in the next three months or so, you're going to finally start to see the progress, the movement that you've been hoping for, okay? Um, but the key is releasing those expectations and that like emotional attachment to that. Um, and that's interesting that that's coming up because it's like... This has been a theme in a lot of readings that I've been doing for myself, for my clients. It's like, and, and I think I've had that kind of message come up in other pick a cards that I've done recently as well. Um, so I don't know. It, it's something that a lot of people struggle with. But in my opinion, it's kind of the key to happiness. <laughs> that sounds kind of dramatic, but... Well, it's like the Buddha said, attachment is the root of all suffering, right? Um, so, I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of philosophical now, so that means I should probably stop. But um, basically, the summary of your reading, Pile 2, is that um, if there's someone that you have been worried about or a relationship you've been concerned about, I feel like it's going to... Uh, start moving in a more positive direction in the next few months and I feel like um, you're gonna be able to start manifesting some abundance for yourself and for for this person um, for your relationship together and people are gonna finally start making the effort to actually make it work okay um, so pile two that's your reading I hope that made sense and uh, I hope it resonated with you Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. It's time now for pile three. We have the Darth Vader uh, bobblehead. 
Okay. So, pile three, your cards are, you're ready, the assertive, we have emotions are running high, you guys got more cards than the other people, nine of swords, ace of swords, five of coins, playfulness, and keep an open mind. All right, let me move you over here further. Okay. <laughs> okay, pile three. I am seeing that a lot of you are probably going to be involved with somebody. And okay, so I, I want to say this. It's kind of interesting that all three readings so far have really given me the impression that you know you're already sort of involved with another person or you at least have a person of interest um i don't know hopefully the last pile will be more geared towards singles <laughs> anyway so um i feel as though pile three in the next three months you're going to be involved with somebody who is going to be very attractive to you if you're not already it's gonna be something you and this person i think are gonna gonna have a very playful kind of dynamic and a very um a, a very intense kind of passionate dynamic as well um because like all three of these cards that we have here are very like action oriented they're very kind of intense there's a lot of like passion and energy that comes with these cards um and so if I, I feel like if you're not already involved with this person then you will be you know in this time frame um like i said something that's going to i think make you feel very alive and but also kind of stressed. I'm seeing the kind of relationship that's really intense and really passionate and really um, kind of kind of fast moving to an extent, but I'm also seeing that on, on the other hand, there's this element of stress and anxiety and possibly conflicts between you and this person so it's like even though things are going to be really intense and, and fun there's also like arguments or disagreements or periods of time where you guys just are not on the same page and you're not like you're not seeing eye to eye on on various things and so it's possible with the five of coins here that within this time frame, you and this person might actually separate or take a break from each other. Um, but I think that probably you will, by in the end, come back together because with the Ace of Swords, we have we have this this new beginning at hand. Um, and also, you know, this card to me is like the cut through the bullshit card. Um, taking your sword and just sort of cutting away all of the crap that you don't need. And so I kind of feel like, you know, you might have some, some big conflict with this person. And potentially you guys could just part ways. But I think there's also the possibility that you are going to mutually decide to start again and 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 start again from a, a different angle so to speak um with the open mind card this is kind of like um i feel like some of you might have the feeling that you know even though you love this person and you care about them a lot that you know it's just not going to work or, or something like that 
But what this card is telling me is that you you might not want to write this relationship off too quickly. It's like, just, you know, really, really think about it uh, before you make any kind of decision regarding this person, okay? Um, of course, we all have free will, right? So, <laughs> you know, ultimately, this relationship could go in any number of ways. But I think for the majority of you, there's a high possibility that there's going to be a reconciliation after this separation or this conflict. And I do feel like it will probably be something fairly significant. Um, like the, the, um, the cause of the, the conflict might not be a big deal, but I feel like it's going to get kind of blown out of proportion. And like, I'm seeing you guys kind of just like going a couple of days or weeks without speaking to each other, but it's, it's kind of like a, it, it kind of feels like kid stuff to me, which I, I mean, you know, I guess kind of makes sense given just the energy of this connection because it just feels very much like puppy love, you know, very much like like a high school f kind of fling, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I do feel like you guys could work past that and get to something more stable and you know, balanced if you want to, okay? Because like I said, this this new beginning is definitely going to be a possibility. Um, it's just a matter of your what you choose to do, which I think for most of you, your person's probably going to be willing to work it out. Um, they're probably going to want to, <laughs> you know? So that's just something to keep in mind. Um... Pile 3, that's really all that I've got for you guys. Uh, these readings today have been kind of short, but I hope you enjoyed anyway, and I hope that this resonated with you. Um, thank you so much for watching, Pile Pile 3. I hope that I see you next time. Bye! Alright, let's get rid of Vader, and we are going to do Pile 4. Okay. So, Pile 4... What do we have for you guys? We've got in the near future. So something going to be happening soon. We have take time to breathe out. We have the Knight of Cups. The Queen of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. You guys got more tarot cards than the other people. And we have the Devil. And we have Free Yourself and Past Life Relationship. So this is very interesting, Pile 4. I think that... Okay. So I want to say that the first three readings were kind of... For the most part, kind of geared more towards people who are already involved with somebody or already sort of have someone, you know, that they're interested in or dealing with. This however, is I think the singles reading. Um, I feel like a lot of you don't really have anybody in, 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 in particular that you are thinking about or interested in because we have the Knight of Cups here indicating some kind of love offer being made to you. We also have the Three of Cups, which to me, this card is giving me it's giving me celebration, it's giving me party, giving me good time vibes, like something fresh, something new, something exciting. Um, the Queen of Swords, usually this is kind of a distant, sort of icy energy, you know, emotionally, emotionally distant kind of vibe. Um, this could be a sign that you will have multiple like love interests that are going to be coming in in the next three months and you're going to have to kind of just like rationally uh <laughs> choose who you're gonna go with um and that could that's this card is also kind of giving me that impression because this card is about like okay wait a minute 
let's take a minute and think about this. Let's not make any hasty decisions. Um, also with the Free Yourself card, I get the sense that a number of you guys have possibly been feeling stuck in terms of your love life. Maybe you have been feeling like, you know, nobody's nobody's coming around and that's been sort of frustrating to you. Maybe you feel like you haven't gotten anywhere with any of the people that you've, you know, been involved with or interested in in the recent past. Um, but I think there's going to be a shift in the next few months out of that stuck kind of energy and into something more exciting and more interesting and something where, you know, you're going to be able to make some forward progress with somebody if you choose to, okay? Um, and with this card being here, I feel like if you don't already have any love interests <laughs> um, in your life, then I feel like there's going to be some popping up pretty soon for you, okay? Like within the, within the next couple of weeks. Um, also with the past life relationship card being here, um, at least one of these people is probably going to be a soulmate, okay? So that's kind of exciting. I'm not seeing this being like a one of those soul connections where it's there's all kinds of um, issues going on, like periods of separation or anything like that. I feel like it'll just be, you know, a, a basic uh, no-nonsense no kind of straightforward soulmate relationship. Does that make sense? Um, so the Three of Cups being here, like I said, this is, this is having a good time. This is celebrations. This is you, like, spending time with these people that you're going to be meeting and enjoying yourself. Basically just having fun. Also, with the Devil card being here, this is some, like, kinky sex energy. Or, if that's not really your gig, this is just, uh, an indication of intensity. Okay? So, I mean... Really, I feel like the next few months for you guys are just going to be a lot of fun. And, you know, for some of you, again, I think you're going to have multiple people that you're going to be, you know, trying to choose from, spending time with. And uh, in the end, you know, towards the end of the, these, this three-month period, I'm not sure that you guys are going to have chosen your person um, you might, you might just be having too much fun, you know, playing the field a little bit. Um, but for some of you, you know, I do think that ultimately you're going to end up with this, this soulmate that's coming towards you if they're not in your life already, okay? But this is happening soon, okay? So, um, pile four, that's really all of the messages that I have for you today. We've, uh, we're doing short readings today. I hope you don't mind. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this reading was helpful to you, and I hope that it resonates. Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!